talk with you today about games to help kids learn to count on. Now, when kids are in this counting on strategy, they're usually pretty good with numbers to 20. They're pretty good with their T numbers, they can count them. But what you wanna do is move them from counting by ones to be able to count on. So for example, if I rolled two dice and one was a five and one was a four, I don't want them to have to count one, two, three, four, five, and then count four. I want them to be able to hold on to that five and then count on from there. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. Kids in this stage of counting are figurative counters. And figurative counters can count forward to 30, but not quite to 100. They might have trouble crossing a decade. They may have trouble counting backwards from 20. They could probably count backwards from 10. They recognize numbers through the teens, still working on numbers to 100. They usually know their finger patterns to five. They recognize common t arrangements on a 10 frame. They can describe common dice patterns. So they have a good foundation while working on developing more sophisticated counting strategies. They'll be able to solve addition tasks, but if I said, I have five, how many more do I need to get to eight? That might be a little trickier because they have to have their five and then track how many more they counted to get to eight. So we're working on those types of skills. And to work on that type of skill, what you're gonna need to do is figure out a way to have kids practice kind of having to keep a number in their head, not being able to see it or represent it. So make it more abstract and less concrete. So I'm gonna share with you four games to help your students learn to count on. The first game is called How Many Candies? So for this game, the kids would spin a spinner and that spinner has numbers and a hand. So the hand is kind of pretending that inside that hand is that many items, but they can't actually see it. So they spin their spinner, say that they spun a three. So they have to keep in their head that there are three. And then they move their spinner over to the candy side. And then however many there are, they have to count on that many. So if I roll, spun a three, I spin a two, I think three, four, five. And then that's my answer, five. And so they can either record on a dry erase if they're using a mat or on a recording sheet what their spins were and then move on. If they're still needing to create the three, you can have those counters available to them. But the idea is that they're moving from needing all of their counters to being able to count on. The next game you can play with a spinner or a dice and it's called roll and count on or spin and count on. So for this game, you would roll your dice that's your first number and then you would pick a card and the card either has a finger pattern on it a numeral on it or a 10 frame so whatever number you rolled you have that number so say six i rolled my six i have it and then i pick my card maybe my card has two so i have my six and i count on seven eight and then i write my total on the side so i have my number i rolled card i picked total. And if you're doing the spinner, it was number you spun, card you picked, total. Next game is called hide and add. So for this one, similarly, you're hiding your number in your card. So you pick a card and those cards have hands on them. Again, hand closed. So the idea is they're imagining that inside that closed hand is whatever number of items is on the card. So I might pick a seven. There's seven inside this hand. And then I roll my dice and however many I get is how many more I'm adding on. So I have seven on my card, seven, and then I roll two more, eight, nine. Nine is my total and I'm writing on my recording sheet. And my next game is a partner game that you can play either with a board or in a print and go version, you can just print it out and, the, and then each student gets a color they can color in. So the way that this game go, works is the kids have two die. So they roll two. So the first player rolls both die, wait three seconds and then cover just one die. So they roll, say that they roll a three and a six. So they wait three seconds and cover up the three. And then the partner has to think, oh, how many was that one? Three. And then from their three, count on or from the six, they have six over here and then count on the ones that are hiding under their partner's hand. So they have six, seven, eight, nine, and they can either move their counter nine spaces if you're using a game board or color in a nine on their print and go version. And again, there's an optional recording sheet if they wanna practice their no sneak in a little number writing practice 
with this game. So I hope you got some ideas for counting on. I'll have the link to all of these games in the description.